All these are the same model GPUs, Zotac GTX 1060s, 3GB versions, so they should all perform equal, but they do not of course, because nothing is made perfect. So which one runs the best, and what are your chances of getting a worse or better GPU? I benchmarked these cards by mining cryptocurrency, which really shows which ones stand out as being worse. And then I also did some gaming experiments to see if it also carries over to gaming. So in the mining test we can see that there is actually one card that stands out a lot in terms of temperature and in terms of the mining speed which runs way slower than all the other ones and the other ones are somewhere around the same area but one which is the fifth card that runs the worst and the hottest. Turns out that this card has an issue with the cooling system as I'd say. The heatsink itself doesn't really get that hot but the PCB does so I would say that there's probably some issue with thermal application on there. The software was thermal throttling the fifth card anyways. So I decided that I have to look at these cards in terms of gaming. In Hitman 1080p with the highest settings, basically you can see no real difference in the average FPS. The only FPS that changes is the max FPS and it's bad for the fifth one and I'd say that's because it thermal throttled so it couldn't go as fast for such a short time when it could get those higher FPS spikes but that doesn't really matter when you're gaming because you don't see the highs all the time. And in 1440p Hitman it's the same situation again with the fifth card performing a little bit worse on the max FPS but the same average Averages. And in GTA 5 and 1440p, again the same thing, but this time the max FPS weren't even lower for the fifth card, so I would say that this doesn't really matter for gaming at all. The only thing I noticed for the fifth card that it got hotter when playing games, maybe around 75 degrees Celsius while other cards were doing 65 degrees, so maybe there's less overclocking potential because I hadn't overclocked the card while running these games. The conclusion is that it doesn't matter unless you're going to mine with your GPU in 2018, which you shouldn't be doing, or you're going to be overclocking your card a lot. But obviously, when you overclock the card, you always want the best card possible. In this case, for Zotac, the chances of you getting a bad card is 1 in 6 out of a sample size of 6, so the chances could actually be way lower in reality. But if you're buying a brand like Zotac, which is known for not having the greatest cards ever, you're probably gonna get some of the worst chips and if you're buying something like Asus, you're probably gonna get more better chips. So yeah, don't worry about this if you're only gaming.